Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musings is, what other people think of me is none of my business. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these quite a few years ago, and the world has completely transformed since then. So if I encounter anything that is out of date, I will interrupt myself and give you the most updated information. At the end, if necessary, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. I also have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. What other people think of me is none of my business. There's a great book from the 1980s by Terry Cole Whitaker called What You Think of Me is None of My Business. I'll link it below. The title went through my head as I considered writing this blog post based on my experience of the last week, month, year, lifetime. I've been in a growth space since returning from visiting my mother, compounded with having a cold for 10 days and having to work through it, solely medicated by Airborne, a miracle product. In the last week or so, so I've noticed I've been having an attack of the killer gremlins. Gremlins are one's automatic negative thoughts, never based on fact, that beset you with doubts and fears from moving forward. They're your inner critic or your subconscious yenta. I've learned not to feed them, either by believing them or resisting them, so I rarely experience them anymore. So it's been interesting to have them resurface at this time and to notice the tact that they're taking. They've been taking me off on tangents about what other people must be saying about me, which is really interesting since you usually never occurs to me to wonder about that. I have a friend and acquaintance who has cancer, and there's been a guilty narration about how terrible I am not to be camping out on her doorstep caring for her. She called the other day, and it turns out there's an army of people bringing her meals, fixing her house, handling her paperwork. Guilty, the eighth dwarf of Snow White's, was completely off base. The other gremlin voices just wanted to run around and set people straight on rumors and gossip from years ago, which I never had an accurate read on in the first place. Even at the time, I knew it was a waste of energy running around trying to correct other people's thinking. What I realized a long time ago was that most people are too caught up in their own lives to even notice or have an opinion about yours. And if they do have an opinion, it reflects on them and not you. Whenever you make a significant change, it will cause ripple effects. It's natural for prevalent patterns to try to stay intact or maintain the status quo. It'll either be reflected on your inner thoughts or what you perceive people saying to you. However, you don't have to take it seriously. If you were rowing a boat and making a decision to turn in a different direction, would you feel like you've done something wrong because of the pull of the water as you changed course? It's all just energy. We just assign it importance because of the storyline we've woven and the characters we've drawn to interact with us. When you start listening to your inner being and making intuitively based choices and actions, you'll be breaking out of the old patterns. That will create ripples both externally in your current groups and internally among your inner gremlins. Keep moving forward. As you shift into your new level, either all your friends will change their tune or all your friends will change. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's an indication that big changes are afoot. Keep moving forward. You'll break through the cloud cover into the bright blue sky of a new reality. What other people think of you is none of your business, and what your inner gremlins think of you is none of their business. So this is really a great example of any time that we make change, it's going to set off our inner gremlins, minor rabbit chihuahuas, and I've talked in previous videos on how to handle those. But it's also really interesting, the narration that we tell ourselves often is completely off base. We'll show up and nobody was thinking that way about you. They kind of wondered why you stopped coming to their meeting or whatever. And the gremlins are never accurate. They're always based on distorted thoughts from the past. And listening to them is kind of like operating on outdated maps on your GPS. All my videos have the same basic message is that you are consciousness. And when you start to navigate your life as consciousness, that's when everything totally transforms. So if you have an experience like this, leave it in the comments below. I love reading your comments. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs icon to like it and also click the bell icon to subscribe. And that way you're telling YouTube to share this far and wide and get this to people who really need to hear it. And if you'd like a free sample of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skypox technique. It'll give you an expanded perspective of what's going on in your life and give you deeper insights on how to make changes. And if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, I have a self-study course called Manifesting Money and Miracles. It teaches you how to shift your inner energy with different vibrations. And by creating changes inside you, it creates miracles in your everyday world. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. I do individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are 
what's going on in your life today. I can answer any questions that you might have, whether it's about relationships, about jobs, about moving. I can also talk to dead people, and it's all recorded just for you. And if you want to know how to do this for yourself, Manifesting Money and Miracles is a great primer and a great preparation for my coaching special, where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you specifically chosen consciousness techniques for you to transform your life. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com, and I'll see you tomorrow in another morning musings.